Yeah, you can design a whole bicycle tour just by taking contra flow streets. Oh yeah, easily. The LA Gustav Halebre. I just murdered that name. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that uh, little entrance a little better. Serves the purpose of slowing down fast traffic. Here's a school area. But I can just make my way through there pretty easily. This kind of front yard area for these path side residences. Places. They need to have bicycle flowing devices for the, to protect the pedestrians, but uh, it's uh, annoying. Well, those those were actually, yeah, you know, quite right. maneuverable, and right. there were two-way bicycle symbols going both ways on that. Right. So they really did uh, anticipate people riding bikes there. They just wanted them to do it slowly. Yes, it's not a speedy route; it's a slow route. Right. And it's a route where you get to practice your, your slow bike handling skills. Right. <laughs> Which mine are not so great. Yeah, the more you do it, the better. Right. Retain that skill. Let's see a little chicane action here. Utilizing the car parking to slow the traffic down. Really would prefer them to stop using the bike symbols in the door zone area. Yeah, right, isn't that something? I'm, yeah, I've been I've been doored five times. Yeah, it's that uh, fantastic. That's a pretty creative little side path there. Up around the, to the right of the bus stop. Some creativity in action there. And this is interesting. This gives us our own protected, separated two-way cycle path around this roundabout here. That's the Coulee Vert over there. And that's another Coulee Vert, another uh, pathway park. And this is a pretty, pretty aggressive, separated, physically separated vertically separated cycle path just undersized super super narrow with low cycle traffic numbers it's okay 
you know, not great. And then it dumps us off into the street. Maybe as this development gets done, they'll be able to uh, maybe reclaim some space here. It seems like we are in school zones. Yep, there's another entrance. Another entrance to the green route. <laughs> so now we're coming, we're going to go back into Clear Street, but by, by a different bridge. Okay. And we're going to have to take a sidewalk on this bridge. I just love the stonework on these roads. These streets, so beautiful. pathway rolling through here daily touring is that there are always there are always different roads to take right so you never have to take the same route and that's right. why you have the illusion of having a through trip right Wondering what you were doing, mixing up those languages there. Rugby stadium over here. Over there, a few months ago. They converted this into a pedestrian street. They took away cars just to the left of this park. This cool. is our local park. Okay. And they have marketplaces twice a week. So it's a, quite a beautiful park too. So that street has been completely pedestrianized there. Looks like bikes are allowed through there. Just yeah, no cars. Just no cars. And a beautiful park. bit of creativity on the bike lane again. Great neighborhood hangout. 
out over there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this would be the Beverly Hills of Clichy. Okay. And uh, that construction is okay because they're just fixing some infrastructure. But there was the, the mayor wanted to do an underground parking lot here. Mm -hmm. And the people protested. Mm -hmm. You may see some old banners of people protect our trees. Okay. And we won. Okay. No parking lot. No parking lot. No parking lot. Nice. And, and so this is... Uh, sort of a convivial hangout called Les Allées and it, and it connects with the Salengro Park. It's very nice. And the neighbors won the battle against the real estate, against the car people. And again, this is what was saved from parking. Was supposed to be underground, right? But still, they would have had to do digging, and, and they would have lost a lot of trees, right? That's our local movie theater over here. We have a one of a kind movie theater. Okay. They also have uh, a regular theater, also they have theater and exposition. So, what, what I'm trying to say actually is that you could live in Clichy. Yeah. Even though we're so close to Paris. Yeah. But you can live here in Clichy. Yeah. And uh, you can have your whole life here and, and everything you need is here. Yeah. Fabulous. Notice the bike path mm -hmm. compared to the car path over there. Right. Uh, it was a share, bike share with buses and taxis. Now it's only bicycles. So they have all this space for the bicycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, at rush hour, the cars are jammed up, but the bicycles just keeps on going yeah. right by them. And you'll see the same thing on the other side, going the other direction. Fantastic. Now let's wait for the, the light of the sheet. And also, John, if you notice, there, there's still, even outside of Paris, there's still plenty of vestiges of the old Haussmann architecture. Right. That's so typical of Paris. Yeah, yeah. Right over here, we have it in all sides. So, and here we have our stream of uh, cyclists coming by. And sometimes I sit here and count the, the number of bicycles going by. Right. To yeah. See how we're doing, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. It's been yeah. getting more and more. Yeah. 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 This is where you can go back to Paris. Okay. And you see the same thing over here, that the bike path was expanded. You see the bus going outside, no longer going except to pick up passengers. Got it. And that's the way it is. Yeah, so the the bus loading zone gets the the yellow right. squiggly line there right that'll let you know that you're gonna have a, a bus potentially pulling in right so and actually frankly i never had problems sharing the bike lanes with, with buses yeah yeah but that's you mark and that's me but right you know your wife doesn't right. want to do that yeah that's right yeah. Uh, yeah yeah i'm glad you said that she will love yes. you for that well i mean and, and that's and it's more than just you know if we ever want to see more people riding right. we have to build for your wife we have to build for you know your granddaughter who's right. eight years old or something right. like that right so well yeah. i have to say that yeah. our our local bicycle advocacy groups mm -hmm. were fighting for this yes it just didn't happen out of nothing out of yeah the no will. no it, it was hard work i'm sure it was hard yeah. work absolutely yeah, yeah.
is that van in the back there? He's blocking the bike lane, right? Yep, that's uh, delivery. Yeah. Got to get those. Got to get those deliveries out of yeah, there. Yeah, but but it, yeah. with the way the bike lane is over here. Yeah. Even with a delivery truck, the bicycle still has room to get by. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, in the past, it wasn't that. That wasn't the case. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately, though, they still have to find a better solution for, for Absolutely. deliveries for Absolutely. for that as well. Yeah. So, Mark, thank you so very much for for, thank for doing you. this. I'm yeah, that yeah. you had, took time out of your busy schedule. Oh to, yeah, uh, no. And and I appreciate all your support of the Active Towns Initiative over the years. I'm it's a been, fan. I'm a fan. You, you are indeed a fan. You you are a true uh, activity ambassador. So thank, thank you. Thank, very much. thank you so much. I really appreciate okay, it. John. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this series of videos with Mark uh, up in the northern suburbs of Paris. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'll leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring that notifications bell. In the next episode, we'll pick up right here to make my way back into Paris and into my hotel. And that will sort of close out that very first day of riding writing in Paris uh, since my previous visit in 2015. So until then, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.